Locke's chief rival was Johnny Wardle of Yorkshire, sometimes the clown on the field, but a thoughtful, almost grim practitioner. Laker regarded Wardle's bowling in South Africa in 1956-7 as the finest exhibition of spin bowling he ever saw. On harder overseas wickets, Wardle bowled his unorthodox stuff out of the side and back of the hand. And like Fleetwood Smith, was often unreadable. Many, particularly in the north, thought Wardle should have been chosen for many more tests than he was. High-class bowler with a volatile temper that worked for a time in the Higgleton Main colliery. He was yet another in the long line of slow left-arm Yorkshire bowlers who went on to play for England. He took 1,846 wickets during his career at an average of 18.97. as predicted, is caught by Bailey off a warning Chinaman for 26. Well, they couldn't read him, you know. He tormented them. They found him because he, once he got, as I say, he was so versatile. And he bowled a lot of that time out of the back of the hand Chinaman. And there was one occasion when uh, uh, they were in such a state that Russell Endine, who was a, who was a very good cricketer, he could keep wicked, he'd do anything with Well, the, the, the pitches were perfect for me. One, there was a little bit of bounce in them. Two, Goddard ball over the wicket for South Africa and roughed it up a little bit outside the off stump. And three, at New Orleans, there was a crosswind blowing which drifted the ball to off and the Chinaman turned from off to leg. And, uh, you know, it was devastating when that breeze just drifted it one way and the spin took it back the other. In four matches in the Test Series, former apprentice fitter at Hickleton Main Colliery Johnny Wardle takes 26 wickets at 13.8 and on the tour, 90 wickets at 12.26. Like Tayfield, this series proves to be the high point of Wardle's career. In 1958, he is sacked by his county after having several major bust-ups with a 39-year-old amateur club player, Ronnie Burnett, who has been appointed as captain of Yorkshire. Following articles written in the Daily Mail, Wardle's selection for the 1958-9 MCC tour to Australia is withdrawn, much to the disappointment of Peter May. After cricket, Wardle runs a successful family business, as well as working as the Doncaster Town Cricket Club groundsman. He dies of a brain tumour, aged 62.